Okay, let's go to the final one, 2D geometry with two options. The first one is in the geometry window and the second one will be a rush map. Let's go to open this one. This is the terrain that we have created and we have to uh, draw the boundaries in this 2D flow area. We can draw them very fast. Let's go like this, simple, set it up and double click to finish. And this window appears and we say 2D flow area. And we double click in the boundary conditions. This uh, I have the boundaries edit to the flow area, and this there are many numbers, but let's focus on two things. First one is the default money value. We are gonna leave it 0 0.06. We can change that later. We we'll talk about money layer and land cover area, and we can generate computational points. This is important. This is the size of our grid. Place another window here. Make it a bit bigger so we see the space in the X and the space in the Y. This I'm gonna leave it simple with five meters times five meters, so it will create a square stick size. But this is very important in the sense it will define how accurate is our model. Maybe we want a, a very large model and we need like 10 meter grid, or maybe we want a lot of high definition for the small points, so maybe we need like 0 0.25, something like this. In this case, just to show, we leave it in 5 meters and we force mesh recomputation. We can see the mesh has been generated. And here is where the computational points are going to be done. Uh, we can be aware that for every cell, there is a computation on water surface elevation, and for every side of the square, there is a computation on the velocity. Here, if we zoom a little bit more, we can see the, the squares. And now uh, let's define where the water enters. I know in this river it comes this direction and flows this direction. So let's go for boundary condition lines. We draw very close by uh, to our you know, boundary to the flow area. And I write upstream boundary condition. Okay. I want to do the same for the downstream boundary condition. Maybe Sure where it is coming from, where it is going away from downstream. Wait, I don't like this. Downstream boundary condition. Awesome. Go ahead. The water will come this side, out this side. File, save geometry data as geometry 2D. Awesome. And sometimes the terrain disappears. This is completely normal. No worries. Just close it and trust everything. First time it's like, what, what have I done? This is crazy. Let's go with the second method. Le number two, go to RAS map. Right here. We can already see we, we have our 2D geometry uh, that we have created. Still with this, that is a previous one that I've done. No. Okay, so this one is the one I've already done. We can see, awesome. And we can try to create an another one. Oh. Let's get the opportunity. Do you see that there is a red point here? Because if we click it, we can see down here to the flow area non error. We solve it very easy. Uh, right click, edit geometry, right click in uh, perimeter, edit to the flow area properties for mesh recomputation. Some problems that hackers have sometimes and close. Right click, stop editing. Awesome. This is gone, our geometry is uh, correct. So let's create another geometry just from this window. Right click in geometry, add new geometry, ge oh, ge add new to, to the um, brush map. Okay, 17 empty layers, of course, because we haven't drawn anything yet. Right click, edit geometry. First thing of all, uh, we can create a 2D flow area, the perimeter, and there is already this add new feature draw up here. And just like before, very rough. Let's go around, click, 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 and double click to finish. And it's the perimeter one. You can just leave it like this. Oh. And this appears uh, automatically. The 
all money in value zero point zero six. We are gonna leave it like this at the moment to make it simple. And the cell space, and this is one hundred meters. I want it a bit smaller, five like we leave it before. Generate computational points. And turn on, close. Is done. We can zoom it. But see the squares, for every square there is a water surface elevation, for every side, side there is a velocity. And then we are going to talk more about brake lines and money num um, refinement regions. This is very rough. The beauty here comes when you to try to make a geometry that represents the best uh, the terrain you have. But here we are going to leave it just this simple to make it quick. Uh, we are going to draw, draw the boundary condition lines, so we click boundary conditions, we are in the editing mode, very close to our boundary condition, upstream, this is the upstream, boundary condition, where my water is coming from, and downstream, I draw the downstream boundary condition. Uh, the, I know the water is coming in this river area and I guess it's coming out here. I am not sure we make it bigger, no problem. And then this is done. We can just stop editing. Do you want to save the edit? Yes, because I want to save what I've done. Uh, we have both geometries and I hope that helps. We will continue maybe giving more details later. Um, the brake lines and the refinement regions and how to define how much water is coming in and out. Good luck!